Welcome to the Faith Lutheran Church Sermon for Sunday, June 25th, 2017. Today, Pastor Jonathan Holmes brings us a message based on the Gospel reading from Matthew chapter 10, verses 5 and 21 to 33. Let's listen in. You know what? It's exhausting being a Christian. It seems like the world hates us. And it seems like chairs always want to catch albs. So it gets exhausting after a while. You just want to sit there and give up. I know some of you have shared your anxieties with me about the future of your congregation. I know some of that is weighing heavily on you, especially as, as I leave. There, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of relief coming, it seems. You still go through the process to find a pastor who will care for you, will proclaim the forgiveness of sins, administer His holy sacraments, and give you life and salvation through His holy word. And so it seems like at times it's easier to throw in the towel than actually to continue walking. You've heard my story. I've mentioned it several times I even mentioned it before the service that at one point I almost threw in the towel that I wanted to give up because it seemed like the devil was having his day with me. That he wanted me to sit down and give up. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I know those anxieties are heavy. I know it seems at times there is no hope. Even in our daily lives, it seems like we can't get it straight. How are we supposed to help our congregation? How are we supposed to continue? How is all of this supposed to come together? The problem with that kind of thinking, though, is you're acting as if this church survives because of you. Now, don't get me wrong, the church is made of people. The church is you. But unlike all the thinking of the world, and it seems many congregations think, this is not your church. Instead, it is somebody else's. It is Christ's church. You see, Christ is the one who has stood up. When you feel exhausted, He is staying on the cross with nails through His flesh. When it seemed like He could have given up and stayed dead, He stood up strong. In fact, in that standing up, He has forgiven you your sins. In that standing up, He has given you righteousness. He has declared you as something you don't even think that you are at times. You see, His words are much more worth much more than what we even think about ourselves. They are stronger than our anxieties. With that, He has thrown the chair away and continues to walk and push all that which is in the way out of the way. You see, in our text for today from Matthew chapter 10, we hear these words. Aren't two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet, not one of them, not one of them, will fall without the Father's will. And so much more are you worth than they. You see, all of you here are worth worth much more than two sparrows. You see, in this text, he's telling you that he will care for you, that he will be your Christ, that he will stand you up on this hill, that He is the beacon in which 
you can now see the light. You see, He has built you up on the rock. He has made you the wise man. He has defeated sin, death, the devil. He has defeated your anxieties. He's defeated your worry. In fact, He took it to the cross. And He left it buried for all time. Yes, this is my last Sunday with you. I got through it. But there is hope. Yes, it may seem like the storm is here, that we could give up, that you could give up. But you see, it is not you, but Christ who is continuing to lift you up. You see, it is Him. And you see, just as without the Father's okay with the sparrow falling and dying, without the Father's permission, nothing dies. Not even His church. And so my brothers and sisters in Christ, yes, I leave, but the word will always remain here. The word that your sins are forgiven, that anybody who walks through any of these doors, that Christ has forgiven them their sins, and that he has declared them righteous, that they are as white as snow, brighter than lightning. For you see, yes, you are not greater than your master but He has made you as great as He is. And so we have a glimpse of who Jesus is on the, just as we saw Him in the Mount of Transfiguration. That is what is now yours. And that will always be a fact. It will never be abstract. It will always be solid. That is who Christ is for you and will always be for you. And so in these coming months, feel free. Toss the chair. Stand strong. Receive His gifts of forgiveness, life, and salvation. For they are yours and will always be yours and they never run out. Yes, I say farewell, but Christ does not. He says hello day in, day out. He resurrects you day in, day out. Even when the pastor fails, and I know I have, remember, he doesn't fail, and he will never fail. That is why He died. That is why He baptized you. He marked you as His own. One of my favorite movies of all time was Toy Story. In fact, as a kid, I had the sheets, I had the toys, I had the posters. But in that movie, where does Andy put his name? But on his toys. You see, Buzz Lightyear and Woody were only toys. But you are living. You see, at your baptism, he placed his name with darker black ink to know who you are. That is who you are. You are the fathers. You are the sons. You are the Holy Spirit. That is his assurance to you now and will always be the same. <clears throat> it's been a year, and I thank you again for it. But remember, Jesus has been alive since the creation of all things, and he will remain here because he says it is so. And so, my brothers and sisters, remember of that love. You can forget about me if you want. But don't forget Christ. He is the rock of your salvation. 
And because of that rock, you need not fear a future. Amen. Thanks for listening to the Sunday Sermon from Faith Lutheran Church in Moore Park, California. For more information, visit us on the web at faithmoorpark.com.